Hey guys, I figured I would do a quick review of a gun that I bought a few years ago. It's a Walter TPH. Um, when I bought this gun, I was looking for a uh, a small 22. I was actually looking for a Walter PPK. But I ended up finding this, and, and I really liked it. It's a pretty cool gun. Um, I believe this gun was manufactured in 86. I think I have some paperwork here that actually shows the date it was manufactured. Because it comes with everything, or it did come with everything when I bought it. it came with the bag that it comes in. It came with all the paperwork when it was originally purchased, from who it was originally purchased. Um, safety manual uh, and everything else that's supposed to come with it I guess when you buy it I think uh, actually I've seen the price on here at one time I'll go in there and look at it again but I think the price it was paid for this thing was like 350 bucks or something um, there's the safety manual kind of hard to do this with a uh, holding an iPhone but let's see there's a safety manual it's got the warranty card um, let's see what else it is. it's got the target from the factory where it was test shot from the factory uh, let's see I guess that was shot at 15 meters. Let's see. Let me see if it does have the actual. Actually, it was uh, bought and paid for in 1989. $171 is what they paid for the gun. So I was I was incorrect on the price. That's the gun itself really small gun it's a really nice gun it's a really well made gun um, it's made out of all stainless steel which is really nice uh, it's 22 caliber so I see some videos online of these and they talk about some guys talk about how extremely accurate they are and extremely uh, reliable I've had some reliability issues. I think it is due to the type of ammo that I'm shooting. Um, but it would be nice if I could shoot any ammo I wanted out of it. But uh, most of the time, the really the really hot stuff seems to work better for me. And you know, I've heard quite the opposite. You know, it's standard velocity stuff works better for a lot of people. So it's really strange. I don't know what that why that would be. Uh, I'm going to put some some 22 Thunderbolt in it and see how well it runs with 22 Thunderbolt. These magazines are uh, not only are they hard to find but they're expensive when you do find them. So I only have the one magazine right now. I plan on getting some more magazines but I just have to wait until I find one at a reasonable price. I mean, I actually I would pay the higher price, but I would I would like to do it. Uh, I would at least like it to be close to me so I could just go pick it up instead of having it shipped. But I may have to have it shipped anyway. So we'll put uh, magazine says it holds six rounds. I can always get seven in there. 
but when I get seven in there I have to uh, pull the slide back insert the magazine and then drop the slide so I guess no matter how I look at it I'm only gonna get seven rounds in the gun because with seven rounds in it it won't uh, it won't go in there and sit with Well, those ran w really well. <coughs> we'll do it. Load up some more. <coughs> Load up another mag and see if it if it runs uh, if it runs all the way through them again. I'm gonna have to do something about setting up a camera. Tired of trying to use the iPhone. I have a GoPro. I need to. It's just so much easier to take a video and send it from my phone. stove pipe or not a it's not a stove pipe it's failure to feed and that actually seemed like the uh Seemed like the bullet may have came out of the magazine prematurely. Tried to go into the chamber and the slide wasn't going forward. But I don't know. But anyway, it's a really cool gun. And I'll just keep running, running it and uh, see if it improves. Try some different magazines. That's another thing. You know, if the magazines weren't so hard to find and so expensive, you could grab a whole bunch of them and try a bunch of different magazines. I think a lot of its reliability problems is the ammo, and I think the uh, remainder of the problem is just the uh, magazines. But I figured, uh, you know, uh, people would like to see these videos of these guns because they're not that common, and they're pretty ex pretty pricey when you find them. I, I know I paid through the nose for this one, but I really liked it, so I bought it. But uh, okay, guys, have a nice day.